Today's special guest is Jake from Trend Spider, and you want to listen to what he has to say because Cobra is partnering with them to give away a free month of Trend Spider. What is Trend Spider? Well, Jake, you tell them. Hey there, this is Jake Wajastic, and if you are watching this video, you are eligible for a free month of TrendSpider from the Cobra team and wanted to go over a little bit about what TrendSpider is and how it can help you with your trading and really, you know, how it can add value to your overall process within the market when you're looking at the market, trading, getting alerts, all of that type of thing. TrendSpider is really an all-in-one tool. You can automate different parts of analysis such as trend lines. For example, here, if I click on the trends button here, you'll see these trend lines essentially automatically pop up. These are essentially based on whatever properties that you're using within the trend analysis uh, preferences. And the nice thing is this is not there to pollute your chart. It's there to be an idea generator and to essentially pick up on things that you may have missed. So for example, here, you have a lot of these different uh, trend lines. One person may be looking at this downward channel. One person may be looking, and if you turn it off, you'll see that I just double clicked those lines. They're gone. Now, if I maybe wanted to look at more of a broader formation and I want to look at this symmetrical triangle, I just click these, turn off trends, and now we're watching this symmetrical triangle. This really is there to make the process of looking at trend lines more efficient and, and really, as I mentioned, an idea generator, not necessarily something to replace what you're doing. The next layer of the platform is really the alert system. So let's say that you know maybe you take a trade here and you want to a hold all the way up to around the top of this symmetrical triangle. Right click, create an alert at this line, and you'll see not only can you get an alert when you get to the line, but you can also get an alert when you get near the line. And whether it breaks through, touches, or bounces, you can define which way price action interacts with that area. The alert system is really nice to allow you to set your alerts, stick to a plan, and only trade and actually execute when these alerts go off. It really helps you stick to your plan. This is something that you can do on any part of the upper side of the chart. So you can do this on moving averages, Bollinger Band, trend lines, Fibonacci levels, levels, VWAPs, anchored VWAPs, literally anything you can imagine. Another thing that we have is actual chart patterns. So you can see here that you can actually automate just looking for these different types of patterns. So you can see here, the system will roughly give you an idea of what patterns are, are possibly uh, showing up here on whatever chart you're looking at. So that's another part of the automation. The next part of the automation is the candlestick pattern. So you can actually go in and look for, let's say, if you want to look for a hammer, anytime there's a hammer on the chart, you will actually see it here on on the chart and you can do this maybe if you want to train your eye so for example here this is a hammer ideally you'd probably want to see a hammer at the bottom of a trend but still it's just looking at the properties of a hammer and highlighting any hammer that shows up you can use this within our scanner you can use this within our back tester so this is something that's really helpful in kind of keeping things honest so for example on the back tester you can test literally any strategy that you can think of so if you hear about a strategy or you come up with a strategy and you want to automate the back testing portion of that, meaning that you want to look back and see, okay, you know, what has happened over the last 20 years when a 20 period moving average crosses above the 50, you simply can put this in. And the nice thing is you don't have to code. So for example, if we wanted to create that condition, all I would need to go is add parameter condition indicator. And I would just type in the SMA and we would just say crossed up through and we can just change this to 50. And then maybe we want to know what's the return when the SMA crosses down. You would just go here, add parameter condition indicator SMA 20 crossed down through the SMA. So it's very easy to implement these entry and exit conditions. You don't need to do any coding. Uh, you just need to know what exactly you're looking for. You can choose the look back period here. So for example, you can go all the way back to uh, 7,000 candles, or let's say you want to do a shallow, uh, smaller back test over 2,000 candles. You can choose your look back. Once you do that, you'll see here that you can see quite a bit of information. You have a lot of statistical data here. You have a lot of information about what your strategy does versus buy and hold. So in this case, this is a profitable strategy over the last eight years. However, if you would have just bought and held, in this case, lows, 
you would be up 155%. So is your strategy at least just, let's say, trading shares in the spot price, is that actually a winning strategy if you're not using any type of leverage or option to get a little more return on this particular signal? So this will tell you all of that. It will tell you max drawdown, average win, average loss, all the things you need to make an educated decision about a strategy and if it's actually a strategy that you want to continue uh, working with and, and maybe implementing into a trading bot or manually trading. As I mentioned as well, we have a market scanner. So you can really use the market scanner exactly like the back tester. So you can go through and you can scan pretty much anything you can think of. You can scan for fundamental side of things, analyst estimates, news content, splits, dividend values, or you can stick uh, to chart patterns. If you want to simply scan for a symmetrical triangle or a just click chart pattern here daily, and then you can essentially choose any pattern that you want to search. So this is something Something that is very, very easy to use, but also very powerful in the same sense. So it's, you know, it may seem a little intimidating at first, but it is a very easy to use interface. And most things that you're doing on the platform are just a couple. The next thing that I wanted to mention is really the sidebar widget. So we have different widgets that you can use. So for example, here we have, uh, you can put your watch list up if you want to watch a specific list of stocks while you're just looking at a specific chart. Alerts, any alerts that you've created, you can track here. News events, this is from Benzinga Pro. Uh, so for any stock that you're watching, news will pop up. So for example, here, you'll see these are the news events from Benzinga, the last 30 events that have come out. We also have seasonality here. This is an example of seasonality. You can look at month of the year. You can look at week of the year, and then you can look back as far as you'd like. So if you want to look back, let's say on lows, and you want to know, you know, maybe since the bottom in 2009, when we had the big crash, what is the return for each month? And you can see this here. So 57% for March essentially means that 57% of the time, March closes higher than February's monthly close. And so this is a lot of good information that you can tie in with your analysis on the technical side as well. We also have other things such as insider trading. So if you want to look and see what insiders have been doing recently, you can click on the insider trading widget and you can see all of the different transactions that have occurred. If you want to look at more of unusual options, you can look at that. So we have unusual options data as well. So really this platform is geared to be the only platform that you need for anything within the market from creating alerts, from your analysis, from just doing regular charts, looking at seasonality, scanning for fundamental data, it's all within this platform. So instead of using three or four different platforms every month and having three or four different subscriptions that you're paying for, this is an all-in-one tool that really condenses everything into one simple platform. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to us. But as I mentioned, this is essentially uh, something that you can get for a month free when you are a Cobra customer. Or in, as I mentioned, in this case, if you're getting this video, you are eligible for the free month of TrendSpider. So you know, hopefully this video was helpful in understanding how this platform really adds value um, for the everyday retail trader and even professional traders as well. We really hope you enjoy the platform. Let us know if you have any questions or feedback. Jake, thank you so much for taking the time and explaining how to use TrendSpider. Again, if you have any questions at all, just go to cobratraining.com, click the live chat feature and reach out and anyone there will be happy to help.